Hello Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your love reading for the second half of July. So the time frame that we're focusing on is July 16th through the 30th. General reading as always Taurus, it won't resonate with every single person. Please do take from it whatever makes sense for your situation and let the rest go. If you are interested in a private reading, that info is down below this video in the description box, as well as a list of all of the card decks that I typically use for my readings. So this very first card deck that I will be using was gifted to me by a viewer, totally caught me by surprise, and it was such a sweet gesture. So I really wanted to incorporate this particular deck for the second half of July readings. So this deck is called Notes from the Universe on Love and Connection. All right, so let's use this deck as a focus message for your reading, Taurus, and let's see how the rest of your reading unfolds for the second half of the month. So angels and spirit guides for Taurus. What messages need to come through for Taurus at this time, please? All right, let's take a look, guys, and let's get started. Focus message, please, for Taurus. There we are. If they once loved you, they still do. That's pretty insightful. If they, if they once loved you, they still do. The back of this card reads, Thanks for every single time you ever fell in love. Whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, and whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. That's interesting. Okay, so if there's somebody that you're thinking about, Taurus, for this reading and felt that someone may have either stopped loving you or no longer care about you. This is co confirmation here that they still do. They still love you. They still care for you. So let's see how this plays itself out for this reading for the second half <clears throat> Excuse me, of July. So we're starting off with some Mystic Moon Oracles. Another one of my favorite decks that I've been using from Angela from Mystic Moon. She has a lot of card decks that she has created. Definitely check out her Etsy shop and her channel if you're not familiar with her. She's a great reader here on YouTube. So this deck is quite popular in my readings and offers very insightful messages. All right, so Taurus, let's grab some messages from this deck and let's see what needs to come through for you for the second half of July. Angels and spirit guides for Taurus, please. What needs to come through here? Okay, these cards want to be heard. All right, we've got awakening coming through. That to me taps into divine masculine energy. Perhaps there is a particular divine masculine, especially my divine feminines tuning in, that you weren't sure, again, how they felt, how they perceive the connection okay they are finally awakened if they weren't before they're coming through as awakened now we have the victim card coming through here perhaps you felt that you were bound to a situation or a relationship before especially if you were dealing with somebody that was not awakened or not recognizing the quality of love or what it was that you brought to the relationship Okay, so let's see how that all plays itself out here. I do love how we have the reinvention card coming forward here, especially for those of you resonating with that victim card where you feel bound to something or someone. I feel, Taurus, that you've had enough of that, if that is something that you had dealt with. Okay, you, you're now finally coming into a place where you want to work on parts of your life that need attention. You're finally recognizing that you need to put yourself first for a change. Okay. We also have mirroring coming through here. So perhaps you might be dealing with a particular person, especially for my divine feminines. If you have a divine masculine that you have in mind for this reading and they've just been closed off to the type of connection that it, it has been, with that mirroring energy that's tapping into twin flame connection, a twin flame relationship here with that mirroring energies. Okay, so we're gonna to add to that with other cards and tarot to see how that is going to play out for you. With the material world, 
if financially you've been struggling, it's being indicated here, okay? The potential to improve your finances, career options, job opportunities that may be presenting itself for the second half of the month. And we do have a yes answer coming through here for you, Taurus. For those of you needing a definitive answer of a yes or no, there is your answer. And I am feeling, for the most part, pretty positive energies from that card. Okay, so that's what we have so far. Let's add to this with some tarot. So angels and spirit guides for Taurus for the second half of July. What do we need to be made aware of for Taurus? And as this is a general reading, guys, you don't have to resonate with each and every card that comes through here. Take whatever bits and parts make sense for your situation, your life, okay? So angels and spirit guides for Taurus. What else do we need to know here? For July, second half of July. We do have the judgment card coming through here, guys, okay? With that judgment card that is coming forward with revelation of the truth. So perhaps finally, a divine masculine, since it is falling right below that awakening card, and I do have a male figure in that photo. So to me, I'm tapping into divine masculine energy. Of course, that could be reversed, okay? It doesn't have to be so gender specific. That is simply what I'm tapping into from that card. With the judgment card, it's tapping into reflection, a day of reckoning, finally awakening. So it's really confirming the energies of this awakening card here. Okay, so that's a good thing. You're finally dealing with somebody who is waking up to the possibilities of what the relationship, of what the connection can offer this person and what they can offer you in return. Okay, and so it's very interesting how a focus message that comes through is telling you if they once loved you, they still do. Perhaps there was a time when you guys went into separation or you just weren't seeing eye to eye and perhaps you questioned it. You know, how do they really feel about me? Well, they're coming through letting, letting you know that they still care for you and love you. What else, please, for Taurus, angels and spirit guides? What else do we need to know, please, for the second half of July? All right. Interesting. Okay, so we've got the Seven of Wands. And we also have the Strength card coming through here. So seven of wands is perseverance and sometimes feeling like you're in competition with other people that may be vying for this person's attention. But with that perseverance, you're not going to give up. You're not one to give up. You're willing to fight for what it is that you want in your life, Taurus. You've got the strength card right next to that, okay? That's tapping into Leo energy. You have the power within yourself to be able to manifest the changes that you want. Your inner strength, of course, your willpower, the courage to break free, break away from things that no longer serve you, as well as relationships that no longer serve you. This is the ability to achieve positive results, okay, in any given situation. But if you have lacked faith in that, Taurus, this is confirmation for you that some of these experiences that you may have had could have been blessings in disguise through mistakes that you may have made in your life or wake-up calls that perhaps you just turned away from or you swept it under, under the rug and you weren't ready to face those things, okay? This is now tapping into your strength, that you have the courage and the strength to be able to make those changes happen in your life, that you have the strength within you to break free from whatever you feel bound to. Stuck energy, that bondage feeling, like you can't make a move. You know, you're literally tied down to something or someone. And that's just not a very healthy energy or vibration. But I do feel it's very interesting how we do have 
more than likely a divine masculine here that's finally awakened to their role in your life. It's now time for them to step up and be either the partner that you're meant to be with or the type of person that you have been wanting this person to be. You know, perhaps they just haven't stepped up to it before, but possibility of them changing and being the type of partner that you deserve this time, that's a possibility here. Okay, let's see what else. What else needs to come through for Taurus, please? Angels and spirit guides, please bring it forward. All right, yes. Ten of Wands, it's time to lay down your burdens. We do have the Page of Cups coming through here. The Page of Cups could be tapping into Pisces energy. Okay, so some of you guys may be thinking about a Pisces for this reading. That's a possibility here. The Page of Cups comes in as a happy surprise. Someone who may be a dreamer, someone, someone who's very sensitive. So if there's somebody that you're thinking about for this reading that fits that description, it could certainly be tapping into that person's energies. We also have the Empress card coming through here. This could be tapping into the energies of a mother figure in your life, Taurus, or you might be the mother figure that's represented here if you have children of your own, okay? But there is the potential for growth here now. If things were holding you back before and you felt like your hands were tied and you just couldn't move, felt bound to something or that you were a victim in a situation, I feel that you have it within you, Taurus, to fight for what it is that you want and you will be able to manifest the energies of the Empress, manifestation of growth in your life. Success brings abundance in your life. So if you were in a place of lack, especially monetarily, and of course, not just in regard to your finances, okay, other areas of your life where you felt that you were in a state of poverty or lack, the Empress brings forward the element of growth and success. If you have been a bit of a hermit, okay, that is tapping into Virgo energy. You may have Virgo in your chart for some of you, but if if you have been kind of withdrawn and just not sociable, with the Empress, it's a reminder for you to get out more. Just get out there, get past your insecurities and just mingle and interact with people that care for you, that love you. Because the Empress promises you a much better future, a much more successful future, and you need to claim it. You need to see that for yourself. Okay? And I think it's so interesting how we have the Eight of Swords as the bottom of the deck card. With that Eight of Swords, that is isolation and imprisonment. You know, somebody who is in this victim headspace that's pretty much very similar to this type of energy feeling tied down to something or someone isolating yourself and not wanting to get out there afraid to live life you know it's time to lay down your burdens Taurus there's so much life for you to live so much happiness for you to claim and it's okay to fight for what it is that you want. But you got to make sure that it's worth fighting for, you know, because not everything that we fight for in our life is meant to be in our life. And that includes relationships, you know. All right, so let's add to this with some romance angels. Angels and spirit guides for Taurus for the second half of July. What else do we need to know at this time? What else, guys? What else do we need to know for you for the second half of July? Please bring it forward for me. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations need to happen here. We do have codependency as the bottom of the deck. You might be dealing with 
somebody who's got addictions, could be the divine masculine that you're thinking about for this reading. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. But there has to be conversations that address all of the challenges, the obstacles that you guys are facing together. Or it may also be that you are creating problems for yourself, Taurus, where it really isn't your problem. It's the divine masculine. That's their problem. And you're making it a part of your energies and your vibrations. So, you know, if you're carrying someone else's burdens, all the more reason to lay it down because it's not yours to carry to begin with. If you're fighting for something or someone that can't seem to fight for themselves, you're fighting a losing battle. Okay, so it just depends on how it's playing itself out in your life. But that's what's coming through here. That some of you guys may be dealing with a partner who's got addiction issues and perhaps you're trying to fight for them. You know, they're not fighting hard enough for themselves, even though they are coming forward with that awakened energy. Finally coming to the realization that, oh, I better get my shit together or else I'm going to lose this person, you know, but still it's not up to you to fight for them. You have to choose your battles wisely. And for now, what's coming through here is that you need to recognize your strength and your own worth in order to welcome in the type of growth that wants to come in for you. You and you alone, not in a partnership, not in a relationship, you as a person. Welcome in the growth that this universe wants to interject into your life and lay down burdens that do not belong to you. Okay, so let's add to this, Taurus, with some signs from Spirit Love Oracle. What else needs to come through for the second half of July, please, angels and spirit guides for Taurus? What else needs to come through here, please? Bring it forward. For Taurus, please. There we are. Seashell and protection. Okay, so to me this comes forward with angelic protection. The angels are protecting you. Okay, so if life has been challenging you, Taurus, and you feel perhaps that you're just fighting all by yourself and that you're out there all alone, possibly feeling like a victim, you know, bound to something or bound to someone. You're not alone. You have a support system that you may have turned your back on for some of you, but you need to recognize actually that you have friends and family that care for you. They are there to watch out for you and protect you in whatever way, shape or form that you need to be protected. The angels as well, the universe, is interjecting its energies into your life as well. You are being protected and you need to recognize that, okay? Let's grab another card. There we are, flying right out. We have pink, so that may be a favorite color of yours. It's coming through with love, caring, and compassion, okay? To me, this is tapping into your very own energies, Taurus, where you need to love yourself first before you can offer the type of love that you're looking for to somebody else. It doesn't matter that this person has finally awakened to the type of love that you share or the type of relationship that you guys have shared together. You need to care and love for yourself first. Show compassion towards yourself first. And once you can do that, then you will be in a better headspace and heart space to be able to welcome that in to someone else's life and to be able to offer that to somebody else, okay? All right, so let's add to this, guys, with some lovers. Oops, ended up hitting my camera. Sorry about that. Let's add to this with some lovers oracle. So angels and spirit guides for my Tauruses, please bring forward whatever messages need to come through for the second half of July. I want to grab the bottom card here. Life is a series of constantly shifting cycles. When we resist change, we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress. Go with the flow. You will be surprised where it leads. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go with the flow, Taurus. And it's interesting how we do have a sacred union that is being indicated in this reading. 
honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So for some of you that are not resonating with this connection where there are addictions or hardships going on, but you are still in separation from somebody that you're thinking about for this reading, the angels are acknowledging the, the union, the intense bond between you and this person. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. So if you guys are going through challenges on your own, okay, just recognize the type of connection that you've been blessed with. It could be a soulmate connection. For some of you, it may be a twin flame connection. You just recognize that you are spiritually connected to this individual. And it's actually a very healthy, loving connection, despite the challenges, Taurus, that you might be facing here. So for me, this is coming through as a separate message for some of you that need to recognize the type of value that this particular connection has to offer, despite whatever challenges you guys might be going through at this time. Okay, so there is the ability to be able to rectify whatever issues you guys have going on. You can overcome those challenges and problems and work through it. Okay, so let's add to this with some twin flame messages from the volume two deck. You don't have to identify or resonate with a twin flame connection, of course, but there are some of you tuning in that do. That's just the name of the card deck. So let's see for you, Taurus, who needs to speak up the second half of the month. It could be you. It could be somebody that you're thinking about. It could be an ex. Someone you're in separation from. Let's take a look at that and see. Who needs to speak up here? What thoughts and feelings and emotions need to be expressed here at this time? Angels and spirit guides for Taurus. What needs to come through at this time? Please bring it forward for me. What else needs to come through here? Who needs to talk? I just want you to be happy. Whoever this person is, Taurus, that you're in separation from, they want you to be happy in your life. Perhaps they recognize and are finally awakened to the possibility that they just aren't good for you. Especially those of you who are dealing with somebody who has an addiction problem. They have to take care of that on their own. You can't fight their battles for them. You need to lay down those burdens. It's not for you to carry. And if it's not resonating with that storyline, then there's something else going on where you are carrying someone else's burdens. It's time to let that go and find your own happiness in your own life. Welcome in the growth that wants to come in for you. Okay? And look at this bottom card here. I am working towards a better future. This could either be you speaking up, Taurus, where you are recognizing the fact that you deserve a better future and you're working towards it. Or it could potentially be the person, more than likely a divine masculine that you're thinking about for this reading. And they're finally coming to terms with where they are at in their life and knowing that they have to get up off of that but of theirs and just get things moving in the right direction. I'm working towards a better future. I have a feeling some of you guys may have dealt with somebody who just constantly told you what it was you wanted to hear without actually taking any sort of action to be able to manifest those changes. Okay, so they're finally awakened to what it is that they need to do in their life and possibly awakened to the type of connection that you guys had. Now, if you have walked away from this person, perhaps they are finally coming to terms with how they perceive the connection that you guys had when you guys were together. But it might just be a little bit too late coming to this awakening time in their life. And some of you may have already laid down your burdens. And if you have, good for you. All right. So let's add to this, guys, with some whispers of love. So angels and spirit guides for Taurus. Some additional messages, please, for Taurus. Some messages for Taurus, please, for the second half of July. There we are. And I'm going to grab this bottom message. 
So the first card reads, appreciate this moment. Each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Absolutely, you know, but you gotta love yourself first, Taurus. Appreciate every moment that you've been blessed with. And as this card states, each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love. Absolutely. But if you are having to work too hard to make that happen with somebody that's just not putting forward the proper effort to make this happen, you know, then it makes it a little bit more difficult. So if that's the space that you're in, all the more reason once again to just lay down those burdens, guys. Okay. And we have choose love coming through here. You always have a choice as to what you should do. Absolutely. You know, you don't ever have to feel that you don't have a choice, that you cannot create a new reality for yourself. If somebody is making you feel like a victim, if you feel bound to a situation or bound to a person, that is toxic energy, okay? You can choose love towards yourself and for yourself. All right, guys. So let's close out your reading with some final thoughts from the guardian angels. For Taurus, please, angels and spirit guides. Some final thoughts, please, for Taurus. Second half of July. All right, we've got a couple. And I want to grab this bottom of the deck card. Beautiful. Manifestation is coming in for you, Taurus. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts and follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have for so long aspired to create will soon manifest. Fantastic. You know, enough of feeling like a victim. Enough of feeling like you are stuck and that you're bound or that your hands are tied. Because they're not. You can manifest whatever it is that you want. You also have intuition coming through. Trust your intuition and know that what seems logical may not be necessarily right. The answer to your question lies inside your heart. Endless possibilities exist for you. Stop trying to work it all out and feel your way through. We, your angels, will guide you. Trust your feelings. What feels right is right. So on point, guys. So on point. And we end your reading, Taurus, with blessings. Love, light, blessings. Through this card, you are being showered with angelic light. Accept the blessings about to come your way and know that you deserve to be and have all your heart desires. You are being lovingly guided along a golden path, a magical journey through which you shall discover your true essence, the infinite and eternal you. Congratulations. What a beautiful message to end this reading for you, Taurus. There's so much, so, so many blessings that are meant for you. All you need to do is untie your hands and welcome it in. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave your reading this time, guys. Lots for you to take in for the second half of July, but some pretty positive energies coming forward here. All you have to do is release what no longer serves you and lay down those burdens and stop fighting for something that just isn't meant to be in your life. Okay? So thank you so very much for tuning in, guys. If you enjoyed this or were able to resonate with part or all of this reading, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys very soon with more readings. Thank you so very much, Taurus. See you next time.